Hi everyone, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I have an amazing read for you today. It ends on the lovers and the clarifiers are positioned like I've never seen the masculine and the feminine position before. They are facing each other in two different places. It's really amazing. So I would stay tuned for this one. Um, it is March 1st today, 2019. The one is all about the magician manifesting magic um, and watch out for the manipulation there but it's it's positive um, in its uprightness as your abilities grow and you um, you learn how to expand them even further and the day adds up to the 16 which is the tower it's a seven um, and the tower is coming up to uh, to kind of light the fire under your butt if you haven't done what you're supposed to do for your highest good so we have the magician in the tower that's really super powerful energy there for sudden manifestations um, I woke up a little too early today because I didn't get to sleep till I went to bed at 2.22 and yesterday twos were coming up like crazy. Um, and I woke up with uh, snow covered everywhere uh, today which I wasn't prepared for because I don't listen to the news so although t people told me that, that we had some weather coming um, I wasn't prepared for that which was a nice surprise this morning. Uh, beautiful white snow out there. There's definitely uh, anxiety and stress feelings coming up uh, when doing the read today. And I never, it wasn't feeling like heart expansion, it was just feeling like stress and anxiety, like more stomach and uh, solar plexus related. And so, and there's still nervous energy coming now, like I'm still feeling it, but I'm, I'm excited to talk to you guys about what we're gonna talk about, but this underlying energy was there before all that. So the read was done at 946 to 47, which is the Six of Cups to the Seven of Cups. And the center of the read is the Six of Cups. And the card after the read today is the Seven of Cups. So it's very much that energy about the inner children, the inner twins, and dreams coming true, taking the steps to get there. The major arcana were alchemy and lovers. Al alchemy in the Syrian Starseed deck is the Temperance card, and the lovers is the lovers. There were four wands, two pentacles, one sword, and two cups. So it was hev heavily weighted toward the wands. So a lot of action or passion or creativity today. The court cards were page of wands, king of wands, queen of swords, and king of pentacles. So two kings, a queen, and the page of wands. Uh, in the clarifying cards, there were a lot of pages. They were all presented the, in the, early on in the underlying energy as the four pages, this children energy, inner child energy, and there's definitely energy coming up from Romance Angels today that children are one of the focuses today, um, that children are affecting your love life. So there's definitely kids there. But again, Page of Wands, King of Wands, Queen of Swords, and King of Pentacles. The numbers and the energy revolving around the coding today were all about new beginnings and effort, which is love is worth the effort, right? The numbers came up 10, 10. Well, 10, 6, 3, 10, 10, 6, and 3 basic numbers. 29 came up, which is the Three of Wands. 10, 10, which is saying in that high vibration. 23 is the King of Wands. 67 is the Knight of Pentacles, which also came up. 9, 10, begin again. And then 42, 12 also came up. So being that the message was all around new beginnings and making an effort, the message, I got several different variations of this message, but the Three of Cups definitely came up in the coding as well as Master of Six, which is love, and the lovers, but it's also S9, Sophia 9, the feminine collective consciousness. So first for me, Tennessee came up, but I was born in Tennessee, so naturally I might see that where somebody else may not, but um, that was coming up as part of the key, so seeing the key was very apparent here, and mastering love, which is the King of Cups, and coming together in a group may feel tense in the, as a new beginning. So when you initially come together and make this effort, you know, there may be some nervousness, which is why all this stress and anxiety is coming up. There may be some tense energies. Uh, but if anything comes up for you guys around Tennessee, let me know, because I'd love to know. I was born there, but we moved when I was uh, about two years old, so I didn't spend much time down there. And, um, I'm, but I'm kind of guided back down to that parallel, not Memphis, 
per se, but along those lines down there. So that may be something uh, you're feeling into, like where were you born? Or are you being called back to your birthplace? Or the area around, you know, that's near your birthplace. So anyway, the group coming together, Tennessee, also the tenors was coming up. So whether it's the group, the tenors, or just tenors that you may know, was also revolving around seeing the key, seeking the divine feminine. And of course, the tenors have that beautiful music, which is very high vibrational. I wouldn't be surprised if there's uh, twins in that group. And mastering, again, the Sophia Nine, the collective consciousness of the divine feminine to rebalance three of ten and that comes a lot up a lot for me like the top three of the group of ten in a pyramid like that family energy to rebalance three of ten in the feminine energy to make an effort for that new beginning also uh, coming up as especially if you have a lot of feminine that you if you may be around a lot of other twin flame friends who have more masculine because your feminine calms the beast and coming together uh, to deal with the the tension there to let let it go you know because that first meet there's all this buildup of not knowing and it's to release that first you know uh, bit of tension so that then you can work from there so you let go of that nervousness and also tennis was coming up, so that might be good for someone to release. So the high vibration, or that God or source, prime creator energy, is coming up as master, mastering your purging cycles, right? Because you're purging huge emotions. And some of this last stuff is coming up around those tense emotions of thinking about coming together. Because you automatically get nervous about that, not knowing. But, but you know. So you need to learn to let go of that. Um, let's see here. So the lion tamer was coming up here. Soothing the savage heart. Seeking unconditional love. And then when being off balance to come together in joy. Sometimes that high vibration, the tension is actually excitement. So change the perspective. Again, that's another perspective of anxiety is excitement. And again, tennis came up. And it's all about the feminine energy there, using that to calm the tense energies. And then Memphis came up again. Um, Charleston also came up, Charleston, South Carolina. But Memphis is Memphis, Egypt. And actually Memphis, Tennessee was named after Memphis, Egypt. All right, so here we have Egypt and Atlantis coming up here. And the it was at 35 degrees, Memphis, which again comes up as the Wounded Warrior and Mary Magdalene. So you see the Mary Magdalene and then inverted is the Jesus Wounded Warrior. And also the zip codes in Memphis are 37 and 38, which is the King and Queen of Cups. And also Martin Luther King Jr. and being assassinated there at the Lorraine Motel. And it was interesting that uh, Charleston came up for me because Atlanta, where my daughter is now, is like the midpoint between Memphis and Charleston. So that comes up a lot. That came up for me last year when I went out to where my son moved because where he was was exactly, was it right where he was? Where he was was exactly midpoint from where I am to where my daughter was. So there's this thing about the magnetic pull. Like you're always pulled to a spot that's in between two others that you're connected to, like my kids. So if I'm being called to a place that's right in between, um, where my daughter is, maybe to Charleston, and then because Memphis is right in between us now because she's in Atlanta. But there's some kind of magnetic. Uh, principle there that I don't quite understand. It might be over my head mathematically. Um, but definitely seeing Charleston, also that Savannah and Myrtle Beach are both north and south of Charleston. And I've actually been to Myrtle Beach with my, my dad and my family when I was young. Don't think I've ever been to Savannah though, but that was coming up. Also going north to Indiana. 
uh, Knoxville, Asheville, and Asheville came up again as a line that, there was a, a blue line going through a map that went through Knoxville and Asheville and Ellery, which is before Charleston, uh, but going through Indiana, it looked like. So then we get into the codes that came up online. And just really quickly, the, the top code that there cop the top heading that came up when I put in the code to the search engine was kill six billion demons dot com which is um, seeker of thrones two to ten but kill six billion demons dot com came up the second one was gymnastics grips from tenno dot com also master of cups card from the ibis tarot deck ibis and ten of cups as emotional happiness within your read within your reach and that was from building beautiful souls.com ten of pentacles also came up so you see the theme here ten of cups ten of pentacles so around family stuff um excuse me that was from learn dash uh tara dash cars.com whole you know when you see the ten of pentacles it can be a whole new way of life right because it's like your dreams come true as far as family but it's also seen as your childhood home or your childhood community you know where you go back to your parents um, also, the Book of Thoth, Thoth came up, and that was from To Me Gather Ion, To Me Gather Ion, I O N dot co dot U K, and it just said unto the Ten of Coins, knowest the wheel of destiny complete, and I was gathering from it just in general that you can see in hindsight, once you achieve those dreams, how it all began. There is no first or last in passing through the abyss. The Book of Lies came up here, and K-E, the O with the line through it, that pi symbol for me, or the integration of self, the masculine and feminine, being balanced within the zero point, dot O-H dot P dot V-1-1 came up, or V-I-I. Contents, part one, the theory of Tara. So if anyone knows Book of Lies, K-E, and what is the what is the technical term for the, the O with the line through it? Because obviously Pi's symbol is Pi. So what is the zero with the line through it? I guess I could look that up in the, uh, the Greek alphabet. But anyway, K-E dot O-H dot, and then the page, I guess it was just the uh, page seven, or contents page seven. But if anyone relates to that, let me know. Um, and then when I closed out the internet, it, it left me on the page of the dolphin sounds I was listening to, which I've seen a million times, but I was being guided to look at it because it's a mother dolphin kissing her baby dolphin, but the mother dolphin has a broken tail. That's one of those dolphin tails that curves under. So it's saying, you know, even your mother with a defective tail is still worthy of love. She's still lovable. So even if your mother was problematic for you, that she still deserves your love. All right. Um, Tennessee Williams also came up. That was at 1046. Tennessee Williams was born March 26, 1911, and died February 25th, 1983. American playwright for Glass Menagerie, 1944. Streetcar Named Desire, 47. Uh, Cat on Hot Tin Roof. Actually, Cat, Cat on the Hot Tin Roof in 1955 was coming up as more significant as well as Sweet Bird of Youth, which I'm not familiar with, 1959. So those two are coming up as more significant than The Glass Menagerie and The Streetcar Named Desire because obviously everyone knows those. They're more popular. But uh, his, it was coming up that his father was a traveling shoe salesman and alcoholic. So Al Bundy was definitely coming up here. His name is Cornelius Coffin, right? His middle name was Coffin. <laughs> and then his mother's name was Edwina, whose parents were a music teacher and reverend of an Episcopal church, or Episcopal priest. So, you know, coming up with the family lineage that you're dealing with here, and this is what Tennessee Williams had, okay? So getting into the read, the masked boy is the underlying energy. I'm going to show you that card. Okay, and the Ten of Pentacles is below this under the underlying energy. This is the masked boy, the underlying energy today. 
and on it came up both the Page of Swords and the Page of Cups, both reversed in like two different sections. So we'll get into that. And then the, um, the Page of Pentacles was reversed right above that in position. The Mass Boy with Burning Desire, uh, maybe a sovereign stalking or a spoiled child with a mouth. So family happiness eludes those who hold back time, energy, and money due to, sh due to shyness or rejection. Also, crybaby syndrome was coming up of a child of a rich family. Shy male child seeks to make up for wealthy family discipline of him by spoiling his children, who are now ungrateful, spoiled children. Or the divine masculine is pretending to be sovereign, a sovereign bull, who's actually immature and mouthy, or always had to rely on themselves. But also lying and stalking is coming up under this energy. Signs of autism, possibly. And the Divine Feminine with happy family, but holds back a new life due to emotionally immature, um, vulnerable due to rejection, and victim mentality, rejection of mother's love, or vice versa for the masculine and feminines. The hermit goes within or spends time alone to judge the divine feminine or hear what she has to say in her messages of truth or announcements, which may hurt his feelings. It may trigger him, causing another purge. Feeling grief at night, pretending not to see the darkness he has created in his own codependency. His neck in a noose that he chooses to keep on so society will know of his sacrifice, all right? So this is that Jesus complex, the savior complex. He wants society to see how much he's sacrificed, otherwise he's not worthy. A mountain he's made from many molehills with dark energies at night and not allowing things to come to light. The lobster is trying to get past the big wimpy dogs at night when all he has to do is walk that same path in the morning when the dogs are having breakfast. <laughs> it is a choice to be blind. The truth is always within reach. The boy with the mask on and spirits connecting is the devil, but all he has to do is take the mask off and be authentic. Overwhelmed, holding back truth, by omission perhaps, of deception and or verbal abuse going on. By the new moon, which is March 6th, I believe, and is it that in Libra or is the full moon in Libra? I can't remember. But the new moon, March 6th, all the illusions will be gone. Once dead, you're dead. No use beating a dead horse. The only way is up from there. Got rid of the dogs, chased them away, as well as snakes and fakes, and those who may look hot but have no substance. Or real face inauthentic or got rid of hot property someone might have had some stolen property so much dark with marked man around the divine masculine it's coming up for the masculine you deserve love this is for both of you the underlying energy underneath that is make the effort that great love is worth the effort and that you both deserve love the arrow is pointing right at you the bull may exit left so someone with a lot of Taurus energy may be coming up here after being an ass with thorn in his side, giving to others to make up for what he's done or not done in a split or split decision. The underlying signs that came up were Aries, upright, Virgo, upright, Pisces, uh, both ways. Yeah, Pisces was uh, up and down, so it could be one person with both negative and po positive energies expressing, or it could be two separate people, one positive and one negative. Um, Scorpio came up reversed, Capricorn upright, Cancer reversed, and Aquarius upright. This is just the underlying energies. Uh, so then, out of Africa came up, as well as Mozambique, Mumbai, Hatari, Egypt, tents, covered heads, home and stability, marriage and union, the harsh, harsh truth of abuse, hospitalization, rehab, arrest, and jail time arrested in other countries for deviant sexual practices, S&M, handcuffs, dominatrix, burning the past and changing color of the curtains, the blinds, 
right? Just because you change the color doesn't mean that you've taken the blinders off. To offer something healthy, but can you trust the fruit has not been poisoned or that it's just not organic? And is that not fear, asking that question at all? Let go of it all, all in moderation, a little at a time. After pulling back the curtain to find the only light there was raging flames, a cauldron, a brick oven, a burial or burned at the stake, cooked in an oven, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The body may go, but the soul takes everything with us. Okay, so these are all the Akashic records coming up again for you to clear, right? So whether you want to be buried or burned when you die, this stuff, those decisions that you make and spirits connecting with me bring up more wounds to clear because you've literally been burned in an oven with being alive, all right? So all of these things have happened to us in the past. You've been buried alive, you've been burned alive. So when you have come up with these choices that you have to make about what you want for yourself, it may bring up these negative feelings. So see them, allow them to come up and say, oh, that's what that is. And then you can release that and then it no longer goes forward to your children or your lineage. So mass unit was also coming up of tents of green, which will bring up lepers and exile, gangrene, loss of limbs, and life, that you've experienced it all. So when life offers you lemons, accept the lemon without adding sweetener. <laughs> you don't have to make lemons into lemonade. The lemon is perfect, just as it is, just as lemon juice. Rapes that made children, or cheating, and the child's not yours. If that child, is that child still not pure? All right, so the, this brought up the movie that I watched last night. The movie was called uh, Encendies, Encendies, actually. Encendies, which means scorched or fire or something that's out of control. Encendies, and I highly recommend it. It was, I actually didn't cry from that movie, although it was very, the message was intensely powerful. So you might wanna watch that, okay? And that brings up the stuff that I'm bringing up here. Um, so is the child, the child of rape, or the child is, is not, you find out is not yours? Is that child still not pure? The pain of delivery, but you are willing to do it again, right? Even though you had a really painful delivery when you had your child, you're, you still deem that child worthy of going through that same thing again. If there's a healthy alternative, will you accept as opposed to undergoing the knife? One little nail in the heart in surgery is all it takes to shut that heart down. And then I was getting, because I had a C-section with, with my son, that my son was cut out of me, but my daughter was not. The masculine, it was representing the pain that the masculine causes. Like, so then, then in the Divine Feminine's eyes, just having a masculine causes you pain, hurt and trauma. But this is a wound that it's not true, obviously, about your son, but this is the wound that's come up from before because in your past, men have caused pain and trauma a lot of emotional wounding to feminines the knight of pentacles takes his time and eats fruit for heart health to avoid the knife men have literally had their hearts cut out physically like as in war a wound that leads them back to heart failure women not as much but for women it was more about allowing rape and emotional torture self-mutilation men more physical in nature and then women more emotionally okay and this is where all those wounds are coming from but remember that we have both in us the masculine and feminine because you may have lived out both so the uh, other card that came up here was relationship change which is 56 which is the two of swords right being with the blinders on do you choose to keep them on and pretend not to see or do you take them off and already know that you know this is the relationship change. And then domestic harmony was beneath that, number 46, the children in the garden, the innocent, the innocent ones. 
and uh, when I put uh, as all, as all these, when I put that in on the computer, it automatically changed it to one dies or once dies. Okay, so that was very profound here. So definitely, if you get a chance, watch that movie. Uh, it is uh, subtitles, and I usually can't take watching subtitles because it's hard for me to keep attention with my uh, concussion and distraction issues. So it's really hard for me to watch. But I actually enjoyed watching that movie. So it wasn't like intensely difficult to keep up with the uh, the the words. So the world is incomplete without things. Time, energy, money. Say goodbye to the ten swords that are falling out of your back. Let it all sail away. And then I was getting, come sail away with me. As long as you are on Earth, there will be a moon, which is just a satellite. It's not real. It's the reflection of the sun's energy. The worst is over for the hermit and the emperor. And that can be the masculine and the feminine, or it could be the same person. The hermit holds a lantern, and the emperor holds a lighted universe. Held hand, handheld, of course, okay, for the masculine, the boys, and their toys. The key is the sun, and the divine feminine is his sun, his life force, and he knows this. Caesar, Trump, man with cuff on left wrist, made it limp. Symbolic of the prison, the masculine put the feminine in, even within himself, the first whole millennium. Cleopatra, Wonder Woman, both very masculine. Just because of beauty does not make them feminine. However, it can make the woman feel the need to be more masculine, right? Because if everyone sees her for her feminine beauty, she may need to prove something to the world by becoming overly masculine. Red, white, and blue, and spirit's still connecting with me, with gold. Freedom rings, the Liberty, the Liberty Bell with a crack in it. Red sky at night, sailor's delight. This is paralleling to the red, white, and blue. Apple a day keeps the body pure and emotions balanced. The gold is the sparkle of the divine heart, your spiritual balance and discipline. Stonehenge comes up as a slippery path, a snake in the grass, pot, or a drug arrest. The hermit in the steeple making restitution. So somebody might be working at a church to work off um, some kind of theft or, or something that they were arrested for. Uh, right shoulder pain comes up here, no longer needing to look over his shoulder for the masculine. When you come clean and everything is truthful and exposed, you no longer need to hide about anything. You are truly free. Nature closing in on him grass through the ceiling and that can be referencing the glass ceiling as well but mold was coming up and stone walling balls to the wall or ceiling held to the fire or held to the flame child held to the light in a baptism the divine masculine thinking what a joke after what he has seen the emperor betrayed by the devil within the masked boy with a burning desire a streetcar named sin as opposed to the black sheep of the family, he's the black tribal boy shaman. All his family's prejudices. You deserve love and friendship, and spirit still connecting, health and relationship change. Okay, so this is for the union, for, so for both the masculine and feminine, so if it doesn't directly relate these things to the feminine, it's her masculine within, okay? So she may be feeling these wounds coming across from her masculine. Before the female archer, pointing arrow at the fruit that you are offering the divine feminine is the death of you. Okay, so if you're staying with this woman, the karmic is pointing the arrow at you offering fruit, something healthy to your divine feminine, and she wants to get revenge. If you don't leave, she will be the death of you. Um, and this could be health-wise as well. Recently, for the union, is surrender of the divine masculine's inner child and his emperor needing to be in total control secretly clinging not secretly clinging to not wanting to learn or work or have new opportunities wanting to die or just lay there and be left alone the foundation here is the king of wands shaman 
at work co-creating an announcement to the Divine Masculines and their inner children as a wave through his Divine Feminine. So he may be etherically through the 5D sending the messages to the Divine Feminine to make sure she gets them out. Or there could be an announcement of truth that he may be asking her to do more towards the Divine Masculine's point of view. Or there may be a Divine Masculine wanting to actually join his Divine Feminine or do something on his own in talking to others to admit his part in being a horny devil was coming up here. Centrally, the children or inner twins are gaining attention for the Queen of Swords, or excuse me, for the Queen of Wands reversed, having temper tantrums and taking down others before they get her. At least one child may be mimicking that mother in very bad behavior. So they might be getting in trouble at school, which has been coming a lot up a lot as getting schooled. Attention for coming together with the Queen of Swords. The challenge may be for the union, the Three of Cups. King of Pentacles partner, connection, commitment, ran away, stole, or cheated from him. Hermit with light, with new passion, for giving attention to blocks to clear regarding reunion. Okay, So the, the, the masculine could feel like that he did nothing wrong that you know he he was an upright good person which the masculines are um, in a commitment if they're married or just in a partnership where they're committed or a business uh, connection where they were committed in an upright connection or a partnership and that maybe he felt like the feminine stole from him because everything was perfect the way he had it and she interrupted that or it can be seen as him seen as the liar, cheater, thief, or running away from his responsibilities. Uh, the Queen of Swords also talking, inspired to truth. His truth and synchronicities that he sees all the times, and he's admitting, admitting to this. The Queen of Wands may say she was protecting her children if she's done something wrong, when the light is shed on chaos or drama that she has caused to get attention. Truth of the King of Pentacles inspired in his divine marriage, which is the 5D marriage, but then is considered, if he's inspired by that, right? So he's admitting to the truth of this, but he's saying, if he admits to this, then he's a failure of his 3D marriage, as well as a cheater, liar, and stealer of energy. So he can't win no matter what, he still looks bad. He doesn't understand that once he speaks his truth, then, then things will be forgiven and everything will get better for him. But he is a good man. So this is hard for him to accept because his intentions may be right, okay? But he doesn't understand anything you keep secret is going to grow into something dark. Now crowning the union is the Queen of Swords feeling reunion of the inner children of the masculine and feminine, taking a leap to open her heart even more to avoid drama around his or her abundance. After suffering and purging cycles of the King of Swords and Empress and Emperor, so this could be coming up as the masculine and his parents, his issues with them, freeing self from repeating patterns of family and parents. Okay, so whatever patterns feminine or masculine has with their family and parents. Um, it's focusing on the masculine right now because the feminine's already been through all of that. The reunion with awakening, the king of wands and a passionate rescue and approach, the queen of swords and her queen of cups for, for truth and nurturing the masculine, needing to grieve his inspiration and truth of the queen of pentacles and the synchronicities that he sees of King of Cups or Unconditional Love for new love without jealousy and drama with the High Priestess who has epiphanies instead. So he's saying he wants, he doesn't, he wants comfort from the feminine. He may come forward to the Divine Feminine actually for those of you who are, are in touch and you are getting together, definitely reaching out for comfort from you and it may, they may actually newly reach out to you for comfort and to tell you their story and tell you about the synchronicities they see wanting that unconditional love, wanting a relationship without jealousy and the drama that the karmic has always brought to the relationship. The high priestess with her epiphanies instead, 
um, soon the energy of the Ten of Flames was covering up. I was covered in a lot of 3D bleh, um, implementing the grief process in a bad turn of events of injustice or neglect, silence or verbal abuse. The Queen of Wands looking away, which she's been doing constantly this whole time, with a black cat at her feet, knowing the prisoner who is being held captive as she drives right over them in a sudden bold move or sneak attack to release all the burdens and or confess what she's done. She knew about the Queen of Cups at work and her love for him all along. And then I was getting whistle while we work. So there, there may have been a tell of the divine masculine that his karmic always knew how happy he was because maybe he whistles while he works when he's happy, but he would never do that around her. But there may, it's just talking about a tell that the masculine has. And of course the karmic knows, you know, if you've been together for years, of course she knows how you behave when you're happy and not, and when you're telling her the truth or not. The union is the king of pentacles, crystal skull. Akashic Records, Memphis, Egypt. Impatience of recovery in uncomfortable feelings. All right, so the union is coming up as the Crystal Skull, the Akashic Records, all this stuff coming up now. And the masculine definitely seeing this. And Memphis, Egypt, specifically, was coming up here. That both the masculine and feminine may be feeling impatient in recovering and having to sit in these uncomfortable feelings while you purge them out. Um, separation comes up from the Romance Angels, um, that there's a separation um, coming. Also to free yourself, you deserve love. Um, getting to know each other, so you may be getting to know each other, well, whether it's your twin or your children, that both energies may be coming up as well. Um, and that children are affecting your love life, they're coming up again. Around the union, it's, and something I was getting to separate from this was, um, for the parents who are allowing their children to run their lives, it's a wake-up call that this is, you are the parent. They're not allowed to run your life. You're supposed to find your happiness and be an example to them to show them how to then find their happiness. And if your happiness makes them unhappy, then that is their wound to clear. Around the union or how it is seen is the alchemization process, temperance, patience, and, ba patience and balance. And what I'm bringing up about the children is not to be mean to the children. But if your truth hurts their feelings, then so be it. The truth is never wrong. And if you've been truthful all along, then there's never going to be these huge traumas to the children because they know you. If you really are honest and close with your children, you have that relationship, they get hurt sometimes and they got to deal with it. That's just the way it is. Just like you do. They hurt your feelings too. How are you any different than them? You're still human. Exposure of happiness here on your own. You know, coming into your full embodiment of, of being in your power. Being able, to be, being able to be happy without attention from anyone else. Just giving attention to yourself. Full energy and kids. And the positive side of ego. Because of course we love spending time with our children. We love them. The Empress is finding peace or moving or traveling with kids. So this could be a mother or a karmic energy. Could be a divine feminine as well. Um, clearing blocks of the wounded warrior victim mentality. Refusing to know, to give up, to manipulate, to fight. These are all the blocks you need to let go of. They're all resistances. New beginnings came up but e and effort, but even more so today is all about patience. So there's definitely that masculine energy of being feeling impatient. Um, destiny awaits as the Knight of Cups approaches. This is the masculine coming toward the feminine. The lovers working on details, codes, alignment, and heart focus. Facing each other, and this was at 101 today, now with joint purpose to come together. I never see this. The masculine and feminine where they're sitting face to face, one working, and one is like the masculine's working, and the feminine's working, you know, with her, her heart energies but they're facing each other. So they weren't looking at each other, but they were facing each other, working in tandem. Um, but this wasn't the last of it, hold on. The, the signs that came up for the read, um, all 12 signs are represented as, as usual. I use a lot of cards, but Capricorn and Aquarius were both upright in the foundation, but they weren't the focus of this read at all, okay? Capricorn and Aquarius. They were definitely upright and in the foundation, but they really weren't present much in the rest of the read. 
Uh, the union was coming up as the king of pentacles, which could be seen as Capricorn energy. Um, but it was really more about Akashic records there. Cancer was reversed. Virgo was upright, but there may be a little reversal there as well. Could be two people. Um, Aries, again, was upright and reversed, so that could be two people as well. Scorpio was reversed. Taurus, upright. Pisces, upright. Libra, reversed. Sag, reversed. Leo, upright. And Gemini, I believe, was upright, because the lovers was definitely in positive. Uh, all the clarifiers were very positive. All right. So new love, jealousy, and drama. Again, again, that, that message was at 101. New love, jealousy, and drama. The high priest, sudden event, or epiphany, or a secret orgasm in 5D. He can't hold back any longer for the masculine. Standing in truth, no matter who it hurts, without an opportunity, to, with an opportunity to offer love, that is destined, even if now the Queen of Wands becomes the wounded warrior on a rampage. You can't control others' actions. Stairway to heaven for the Knight of Cups and Knight of Wands facing each other. Two cups taking final steps to heaven through Akashic records and poof, defenseless to letting go of everything. The Queen of Pentacles on the top of the heap now in her power. Okay? And the The, um, the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands are definitely facing each other too, and they're in each other's presence. I mean, this isn't like etherically. Both were physical. One's working and one's focusing on the heart. And then with the uh, Knights, the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands, they're both facing each other too. They may not be looking each other in the eye, but they're there together. And that's like, you know, those are buddies hanging out, like going out on the town. So it could be friends too. But it was really around the lovers there. So it's definitely about the divine masculine and feminine coming together and facing each other. And definitely for some, it could be a lot of first times. But the Queen of Pentacles is in her power. And that's above the lovers and then the Seven of Cups in this deck. It's not like your usual Seven of Cups. I'm going to show you. This is the lovers and the Seven of Cups, all right? This is what came up for you guys at the end of the read. So you see the energy here. All right? So it's Stairway to Heaven and the Lovers. It's a really beautiful energy here that we, we came off with. So I'm going to pull some Oracle cards for you guys now. Um, I've never, in the years that I've been doing this for the, for the twins, um, seen that kind of energy come together for the masculine and the feminine in reality as opposed to 5D. So this is really, really super positive. All right, so for the Ascension deck, take a deep breath, guys. Take a deep breath. I got my mash greens on. It's my dad's, so I like to wear it. So, but that came up as well. Uh, and also green and the leper stuff. I definitely haven't seen it a past life as a leper, so there's definitely some of that stuff up to clear. Okay. All right, so today is March. Welcome, March. March 1st, 2019. For everyone watching and the best and highest good of all those concerned. What is it we need to know? What is it we need to learn? And we are going to Jesus and Mary Magdalene, since they did come up again. <sighs> Jesus and Mary Magdalene. What is it we need to know? What do we need to learn? All right, the bottom of the deck is air, number 12. All I need is the air. All right, so that's coming up. All I need is the air that I breathe. I can't remember the other words. The affirmation is I invoke air to carry angels singing around the world and bring hope and peace. Air is number 12 of wisdom. And the hangman. 
So transmute the air and the energies. And the cards that came up, Quan Yin, number 43, which is the Three of Cups, which was definitely in the read. And Quan Yin's very much about your inner child. And Jesus, number 40, which is the Page of Cups, right? The innocence and that love. Uh, Quan Yin is the master of the 12th ray of unconditional love, and 12 just came up in the other card of wisdom. She radiates a vibrant, Cherie's pink light of divine feminine energy, love, and compassion. Quan Yin is re-empowering women everywhere and is bringing forward feminine wisdom in men. She's inviting you to develop your divine feminine qualities, including your healing abilities. Find ways to nurture and empower others and yourself. Give yourself permission to go with the flow and share with everyone for the highest good. This will subtly affect your stellar gateway chakra and build the Antikarana bridge to source. The affirmation is I act from my divine feminine wisdom. Okay, so healing abilities is, is emphasized here. Nurturing and healing, empowering others. Love and compassion. And that pink, vibrant pink. Okay, it's 43 of coming together. And then 40 of Jesus is... Jesus came from Venus, planet of love. He was sent to Earth to carry the Christ light at a time when the energy was very low. He incarnated as an Essene and received spiritual teachings throughout his childhood and adult life. Then he underwent many initiations to prepare his energy centers to carry the vibration of unconditional love. This card reminds you that all challenging people and situations are tests to prepare you for ascension. To pass these tests, you need to respond to them with unconditional love and balance. Remember that there is only love. The affirmation is, I respond with unconditional love today. Okay? So, of course, we've been through all these experiences in our life already. So, you can look back upon those experiences. And for me, it's working in a hospital. You know, you can't complain, you know, when the guy in the waiting room is yelling at you for having waited for four hours. You have to learn how to deal with that situation and give them compassion. So, it was a great experience for me. So, we have 40 and a, we have a four and a seven. Um, these two cards came out as well. I'm not going to read them all, though, today. Uh, the moon is number 11. And that is, I listen to my divine feminine wisdom, which was definitely coming up a lot today, the feminine energy. And then the Mahatma energy of number 6 of love. So 11 and love. And 6. That affirmation is, I invoke the Mahatma energy to flow through me. And again, the 12 rays came, comes up there. So wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. And 12 is the end of, end of the cycle. Okay. So from the past life deck, take another deep breath. And I have my, Atlanta, my Atlantisite stone here. It's like very green and purple. It's kind of like that, you know, that mossy green. And then kind of like that magenta purple. Yeah. Take a deep breath, guys. All right. So from uh, Jesus and Mary Magdalene for this March 1st, 2019. For everyone watching, the best and highest good of all is concerned. What is it we need to know? What is it we need to learn? Jesus and Mary Magdalene. Anything else? That's it. Okay. Um, the bottom of the deck is mother. And that very much came up. Like I said, the, uh, the dolphins came up with the mother kissing the child. And the mother's wounds. To recognize the compassion for your mothers who have abused you. And most of them have, because we've all been yelled at, right? So, they're not always nice yells. That can, be, that can be very abusive. If there's one really nasty thing that you've done to your child, they're going to remember that above all the nice things that you've done. So, it's so important that you stay in control of your emotions and not take them out on your children. So, let's see. First, we have <laughs> leaving your travel in Asia. So, again, the traveling salesman energy is coming up, which I brought up in the beginning of Death of a Salesman and A Streetcar Named Desire. And we have very um, austere energy. So this is coming up, the, the mother, the intellectual mother 
who can be very uh, emotionless, emotionally detached, can be very hurtful to the children. And may blame her children for, not, for her not being able to travel. But I'm getting uh, Egyptian mummies. Um, mummification process is coming up here. Oh, that um, in past lives where, you know, their whole life was living to have the, statu the stature of like getting mummified, you know. You could live your whole life, never do anything that truly makes you happy, but also that society sees you as worthy of this, right? And that's very much coming up in the Oriental cultures. That it's never about doing what you love to do. It's always about the whole, which is the wrong way of looking at things now that we understand it's about becoming one with yourself and going to your higher self because that is the whole that connects to all others also again since Memphis Egypt came up that's coming up with the pyramid here and staying in your lane but now <laughs> this is so funny so I was talking about uh, you know, like the bacteria getting into the clam to make an, a pearl or the thorn in your side. Uh, the thing that, the change that causes expansion. It's coming up here, right? We've been told to stay in our lane, but now there's a suitcase in the way, which is the thorn in the side, something in the track that will cause you to derail. And are you going to be in your confidence? Stay present and not affected. It also can be be with traveling and make sure to, to pack and pack light. But don't let your travel plans get in the way of what's right. That just came through. But that means what's right, what's truth and authentically to you. What you know is best for the whole. And don't give up, you know, it's like saying too, just because your mask comes forward, don't drop everything that you care about, okay? Because you still have to stay in your authenticity to who you are, show your confidence, right? Show your worth, show that you're worthy of respect. Okay, and this is so much that Asian energy, okay? So we have mother, and then we have this, this austere Asian woman, and then we have in this next two cards, unrequited love, right? Who's, she's, She's very unhappy. The imprisoned, enslaved ones. This is the mother who does not want to do what she's doing. The unrequited love for all those women, you know, who are married and, you know, they don't divorce because that's just not what happened in, in the old days, right? You, God forbid you should divorce someone. You were required to live as an unhappy person you were left in a prison in a loveless relationship or literally in prison and the movie I watched last night she was in prison you have to watch that movie um, watch the movie all zombies I N C E N D I E S is the movie in the title Look at these pictures, look at these cards and watch the movie and tell me that that isn't so representative of the movie and you'll get the messages from that. It's time to end the times of the unhappy feminine controlled by others, right? And even the ones you see as being happy, like the starlets and everything, they're still being controlled as sex symbols the old days. So underneath the mother energy, underneath that is the stopwatch, the old, the time. The lessons and blessings of the past. That the mother must stay home with the children. She must do what is authentic to herself. And if staying home with your children is what you love to do, then certainly. But it shouldn't. you shouldn't be required to do what is not in your nature. Of course we have responsibilities and we have to make a best effort at loving our children 
but the more you do what you authentically love to do, the more you're going to want to share with your children, and they're going to learn that same lesson. That's why it's so important to always be upfront and truthful, no matter whether it hurts or not, because the truth is a lesson to be learned. There's very heavy energies here for the feminines. Oh, and I was just getting to, and it makes me want to throw up. I'm getting really sick. Um, uh, the, the wife that was left home because the traveling salesman was on the road sleeping with everyone in every town. And she had to just keep a stiff upper lip no matter what because she wasn't allowed to divorce. And here he was allowed to do whatever he wanted. So what's that show called on TV, you know? Like the 50s guys who did whatever they wanted. Yeah, it's making me feel really sick. Um, and then one last card came out. The absent father. And how that affects the child. Okay. So this isn't about staying married. It's about bonding with your child, fathers. You can be living with your children their whole lives and never bond with them. This is not about living with your child. This is about having a true connection with your child, the truth of who you are, right? The love between you. It's not about living together. A very important message. There's so many, so many fathers who've lived with their children their whole lives and they still don't know who their fathers are and who travel all the time because they're, they don't want to deal with the kids. Don't want to let the wife do that. I don't want to deal with that. But you do yourself a disservice because you never get to know them. This, that's the treasure in life is, is spending time with your children, getting to really know who they are, but also allowing them to truly know who you are as appropriate. Obviously, when they're little, there's not all these things about yourself that are appropriate to share. All right, so journey of love. I just, I'm getting, I was so sick from that, the, the pain that the feminine suffered of being treated like um, a piece of trash, just something to be left home, to be a slave, and do everything while the masculine goes and does whatever he wants. I mean, yeah, they had to work, but then they would disrespect their wives. This is not all fathers. There are many, many good fathers out there as well. but that society accepted that, that it was okay for the masculines to do that. That's what was so hurtful to the feminine, all the feminines in general. Take a deep breath. And society still does accept that. All right. For journey of love, Jesus and Mary, final word of what do we need to, what do we need to hear today? For this March 1st, going into the spring 2019, for everyone watching in the best and highest good of all is concerned, what is it we need to know? What do we need to learn? Mary, Mary Magdalene, Jesus. Bottom is the Woman of Light, number 49, which is the Get Your Wish card. It's the Nine of Cups, being happy on your own. Shining your light, and that's like the starlet, you know. That's just like I was talking about Marilyn Monroe energy. That she was still, um, you know, treated like a sex symbol. They were also controlled by men. The card, the main card that came out is She is the Moon, number 21. So, so to respect your feminine. 21 is the world. She is your world. Your world revolves around her. She is the womb to respect her. She completes me from the masculine. The woman of light who shines her light, who is the star of her life. Because then she, she demands respect from others. These three cards came out as well. I'm not going to read them all, but I'm going to show you the energies. I'll show you them one at a time as well. Okay. 
So we have this olive energy, which is very womb-like energy and the fallopian tube energy, kind of like um, ET also. Spiral Dance of the Goddess is 29, is staying present. So I'm definitely getting, you know, the eyeball and the womb, the third eye. Olive oil and how good olive oil is for everything, body and dressings. It's, it's coming up to like moisten the dressing for wounds and stuff like that. I'm getting mash unit. I don't know if they used olive oil in mash units, but that's what I'm getting. Yes, that the olive is magical. I'm getting. Um, sacred convergence is number 28, or the twin flames, two of wands. Okay, there's a lot of scattered energy there. It's like an abstract painting. Nothing is quite as you see it, right? We're kind of half in and half out. That's the sacred convergence. And then Sweet Soul Rising is number 20. Okay, the child, the Page of Cups kind of energy. But this is coming up as number 20 as judgment, sweet judgment. And that's funny, in the Tarot of Sexual Magic, the judgment card has a uh, Cupid giving judgment as opposed to someone harsh with a big horn. That's Cupid with a little, with a rose. <laughs> you are my child. I love you no matter what. Okay. So Sweet Soul Rising. So very different energies. Because this is very pure and a child, whereas the green is very of like the mash unit and um, of how life, how traumatic life is when it first comes in, right? For the egg to make it down to the fallopian tube and then implant itself in the uterus and then have to birth out the birthing canal, okay? It's like a mass unit, right? It's a very bloody mess. <laughs> so it's, com it's, com it's showing you the contrast between the purity of the child and the love that they bring. And I'm getting a little bit of chest pain, actually. Um, GERD is coming up, all right? It's like uh, paralleling to the stomach as well with all the very harsh acids in your stomach in order to break down the food. When you let that come up, you know, it burns your esophagus. When you don't speak the truth, that's what happens, right? The acids come back up. You have reflux. There's kickback. So that might be coming up too for someone. Someone's taking kickbacks. All right, so I'm going to read you She is the Moon, number 21. All right, she is the moon. The light of the moon ebbs and flows. The wisdom of patience is not about waiting around for something to happen rather than getting up and getting it done. The wisdom of patience is that of the gardener who consults the lunar calendar, the right timing promoting growth, planting when there is fertile soil, and allowing the soil to rest and replenish when it needs to. You're being asked to check in with your timing. Is now the time for action or for rest? It can surely change quickly just like the phases of the moon. If you're unsure, that's okay too. Perhaps you're waiting for more light to reveal the way as the moon grows full. All things come in time. Your message comes through this oracle. Your manifestation is unfolding in perfect timing. If you feel something isn't happening fast enough or is happening quickly and you're unsure if you're really ready, be assured all is well. If something is not clear to you and you'd like it to be more so, the clarity you seek will come to you. Do not worry. Do not try to force the insight. Just be with what is happening now and trust. Stay present. You're moving and growing and all is well. Soon you'll see that for yourself, just as the moon grows full and revealing, even in the midst of the deepest night. And the poem is waiting. These moments are precious, like jewels on the crown of life. They beckon my heart, forming memories that sparkle with joy. And like the longing of sweet caress, they draw me near, melting into one, showing what is possible on the journey of life, waiting for the season's change, right? So it's that message about and spirits connecting in a very sweet way. Um, it's about enjoying the journey as, about, as opposed to looking at the destination because 
look at all the beautiful stuff that you that you see and experience along the way and, and like I was bringing up tubing yesterday the day before and how much fun it is to experience that you know tubing down the river with your children and just floating there and noticing all the beautiful nature and and your children sitting next to you you know and just the you know being out in nature and how good it feels so to make sure to enjoy those moments even if you are waiting, you can relax in that kind of relaxation, which is inspiring, okay? She is the moon. All right, so let's show you the reeds. Uh, this is the basic reed. And then we have the entire reed. Um, and I want to show you, there's a couple cards that actually came out beforehand as well. And they each pile had, there were three each time, and the, and the, the Wheel of Fortune came out with every set. Alright, so these three came out first. That was at 918. These came out at 919. And then these came out at uh, 924. So it was like symbolic, like these are the cards. This is actually the karmic energy here, not the masculine. That the masculine was the second one and the feminine was the first one. That's what I was getting. Okay, but you have your stuff. Rise and be loved, guys. Be good to yourselves. Bye.